inside here, we have, of course, the brand new Samsung Galaxy S20 FE. I think it's a very good decision by Samsung to come out with the Galaxy S20 FE. Demand has increased for lower priced phones that give you much of the flagship experience. It's uh, pretty ergonomic, it's not very heavy, and it feels snappier than my first contact with the S20 series. Definitely the CPU is a welcome addition. A big selling point of the FE edition of the Galaxy S20 is to get those Galaxy S20 features at a lower price point. It is actually $700 at launch. Okay, so this is the handset. We have it in the hue, which is called Cloud Navy. Okay, so first of all, we got this envelope here, which holds the metal key used to access the slots. Also in the box, there's a charger, and this is a white charger, which has the capacity of charging the device for up to 15 watts. So this is plastic, and does it feel as premium as glass? Now we do have an aluminum frame, however, so the sides of the device do feel really premium. And then we have a Gorilla Glass refrost. And we do have IP68 water and dust resistance. We've got small bezels around the sides, but they are not as small as what we see on the flagship S20 series. The phone comes with a 6.5 inch full HD Super AMOLED display with that signature centralized hole punch cutout on top for the selfie camera. And don't worry, you're not giving up on the 120 Hertz high refresh rate. So Snapdragon 865 with an Adreno 650 GPU in North America and Europe. This variant will be 5G capable. This phone comes with either 128 or 256 gigs of UFS 3.1 storage and 6 or 8 gigs of RAM. But it still feels really, really fast and it will play any game you throw at it. With that 865 or even the Exynos chip, it will comfortably handle you know, any game for the next few years. And while it has the same triple camera setup, offering you wide, ultra-wide and telephoto, it doesn't have the exact same hardware, so results are going to be slightly different. But before we go into a comparison and samples, let's review the FE's camera setup. A 12 megapixel ultra wide camera with a 120 degree field of view, a 12 megapixel wide camera, same hardware that's on the S20 and S20 Plus, and an 8 megapixel telephoto camera. Now let's talk about this camera, which is essentially the same setup as the S20 with a couple of minor tweaks. So we've got a 12 megapixel main camera along with a 12 megapixel ultra wide and a 8 megapixel telephoto, which as you can see there gives us a three times optical zoom. For battery life, it lasts a whole day without any issues, netting me around six hours of screen on time. And I think I could push it a little bit more if I want, but my usage, it's perfect. But here's where it starts to differ. When you plug it in, you get a 15 watt charger versus the 25 watt charger that the S20 regular comes with. 